So, hold on. I don't know if that's why I want you or not. How about that? That work? Yeah. So, your boy got out the other day and did a little bit of fragrance hunting after I went to the doctor's appointment. I think I made two, maybe three stops. I went to a Burlington, uh, two stops. I went to a Burlington and I went to a TJ Maxx in the Madison Huntsville area. I did shoot some footage, but uh, wasn't all that happy with the footage just because of the noise back down. And my camera did a funny thing where it twists the video, so it showed the video sideways. So I decided not to use it. Um, well, I may use the Burlington. I haven't decided yet. So if you see a video at the front of this or before you see this, then it was the Burlington footage. But I did find three fragrances in this stop, in, in the two stops, both of them from, well, all three of them from the same house. All three of them from the same house. Two of them are clones, are well, I guess we could call them clones. Two of them smell very similar to other fragrances. Listen, before I even get into this though, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to like this video. I need you to share this video. And I need you to sub to the channel. It's not too much to ask. Okay. Now, they're all from the same house. Two of them are very, very similar. One of them has an Invictus type of vibe. And surprise, surprise, one of them has a Creed Aventus type of vibe. And one of them is just your average, everyday freshy. And that's the one I may keep. The other two I will probably take back. No further ado, let's get into it. The house is Hollister. One that I will be telling you about is Hollister Jake Cologne. And this was a 1.7 ounce and I paid $17 for it, I think. The other one is... Hollister Canyon Sky and it's a one ounce or 30 mil and I paid $11 for this and the other one is Hollister Canyon Escape and it also is a one fluid ounce or 30 mil and it was also $11 and some change not bad prices I think for 17 though, I've seen where some reviewers were fortunate enough to find the 100 mil for $17 of this. And um, Hollister Canyon Sky box, just your normal box. Bottle, I do think is really, really decent. I think it's a nice looking bottle. Nice looking little bottle. Um, as you see, it's blue. It's got Hollister engraved in it. Hollister and orange. And then what's that on the top? Is that, a, is that an eagle or a seagull? You know, Hollister represents, all right, I think it's a company that started in California, SoCal. So all of their fragrances are really, really fresh, young, vibrant fragrances. Now, I'm going to say this. I will probably take this one back and I will probably take Canyon Escape back in hopes to find a bigger bottle because I like the scents. I really haven't smelled a fragrance from Hollister that I did not like. No telling what the price on this would be if you found it at the Hollister store. Now, the only problem with it is it is this one is an Invictus style of fragrance, but I do not care. I like it, and if I can get it at the right price, um, I'm fine with it. When you first spray it, you're instantly reminded of Invictus or a really, really sweet blue fragrance. I don't think I can reach it because it's behind me. It's one of the Abercrombie and Fitches that it smells like it's either, uh, no. I think it's gonna be this one. Which one is this? Abercrombie and Fitch. First Instinct together, maybe. Maybe it's this one. Very, very, very similar. And you're probably going with Trey if you have that one. And you have that one. And you have Invictus. Because nothing is 100%. I mean, they're really, really close, but. 
nothing is 100 percent i'll just hit that right there for now now back to this one if you run across this do i think it's worth the purchase even if you get the 30 mil or the one fluid ounce which this one is for the 12 dollars i definitely think the 100 mil of this for 17 dollars i think it's a good buy I think it's a good buy and I think it's a solid fragrance. We talk about this a lot. Is it the reinvention of the wheel? No, it's not. Is it a little bit of air in the tire? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. A little bit of air in the tire. Is it a fragrance that you will get a lot of wear out of? Yes. Is it a fragrance that you will get a lot of compliments from? Yes. Is it a fragrance, especially if you get this size, is it one that you can throw in the gym bag? Yes. Is it one that you can keep in your locker at work or your desk at work? Yes, all the above, all the above, all the above. It's a really good smelling fragrance. Is it the reinvention of the wheel? No, Hollister's Canyon Sky is not the reinvention of the wheel. It is a definite, definitely a blue fragrance and you will pick up on that. It is definitely mass appealing and crowd pleasing, but yes, I like the fragrance. Again, I'm going to take these back more than likely only to be in search for the 100 mil because if I can pay $7 more and get triple, uh, double the fragrance juice or double the amount, then that's what I'm going to do. But do I like that? Yes. That's really, really nice. It's a little bit cleaner than First Instinct together, but you definitely understand if you've smelled enough fragrances and you know fragrances well enough then you definitely understand where they were going with that but that will also make a great birthday present for uh, a young man any i say anywhere from 13 up to 113 you can wear that fragrance and be just fine it does smell nice now moving on from hollister's canyon sky to hollister's canyon escape and again, I don't own any Hollister clothing, but I own several Hollister fragrance. Man, I like them and they do the trick. And these are some nice looking little bottles. You know, I wouldn't mind keeping the smaller bottles if they if I could have gotten them a little bit cheaper, say $7.99, $8.99. I would just keep these and not even worry about it because I've got a lot of fragrances and, you know, getting to them is or whatever but and these are really cute little bottles as well yeah, i think so anyway there it is this is hollister which one let me make sure i get the name right hollister canyon escape and these are all toilet concentration all right Definitely, you <laughs> you definitely smell the Creed Aventus vibe from this when you spray. Oh, that cap clicked into place. I did not realize that. That is important. Does it smell like Creed Aventus? Not really. What it smells like is all the clones of Creed Aventus. That's that's what I get. Um, very pineapple-y. Very sweet. Does it smell, again, can, does it smell like Creative Venice? To, no, not to me. Um, is it similar? Yeah, I'll say about 50%, but in my honest opinion, most of the clones that are supposedly cloning Creed Aventus are only about 50% accurate, except for the ones that you would get from, say, a, a Sensual Obsessions or a, uh, dapper the rest of them are not really that close with that being said they all smell good Mont Blanc Explorer smells amazing Club Dina Wee Man Intense now that I work with the person that wears that on a daily basis and I've got to smell that fragrance in the air I can tell you you'll be hard pressed to find a better fragrance for 30 bucks than that one it just does what it does and it smells really really good it does everything that you want it to do leaves a good scent trail 
nice sillage, but does it smell like Creative Ventus? Not really. Does it smell good enough to purchase? 100% yes. And the same with this one. This one, I don't know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm so over the whole Creative Ventus clone. I don't think I would even buy this one in the 100 ml bottle. Now that's just me. That's just me. Does it smell good? Yeah, it smells okay. It smells okay, but I already have Mont Blanc Legend Explorer, and I already have um, English Laundries London, and I already have several from um, Kevin Holt over at Dapper. And I already have Club Anyway Man and Sense, so I don't, I don't necessarily need it. And if I'm being honest with you, this is probably my least favorite out of all of them. Unless it does something miraculous in the dry down, I'm not. And I'm not telling you it's a bad fragrance. Because again, you know, me smelling it off of my skin and smelling it in the air is two different things. And that's why I like being around other people that wear fragrances because as I smell this off of my skin, my opinion, is it's a little bit dare I say rougher around the edges. Um, it's just not it's just not wowing me. You know, it's just not wowing me. It's just not. Does it smell good? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, could you pick this up if you didn't want to order Club Dinner We Man Intense or something like that and you just happen to be in Burlington or somewhere and you see this? Is it worth you picking it up? Yes, it is. It is. But again, I just named the, the uh, aforementioned fragrances that I have. So if you have Legend, uh, Mont Blanc Legend Explorer, or Mont Blanc Explorer, you, you won't need this. If you don't have that and you've been looking for it, if you've been under a rock the last 50 years and you're looking for a Creative Ventus sub, will that do? Yeah, it'll do. Is anybody gonna tell you you smell bad? Not at all, not at all. It's just that I've smelled this this particular scent profile so long and so many times that I'm just like, I'm just over it. So again, this one I will probably be exchanging in hopes to find the 100 mil just because it's better bang for your buck. Now, last but not least, one that I do particularly like. And again, we're not talking about the reinvention of the wheel here. I, I have seen Hollister SoCal. And I want to pick that one up too. If I see that one this weekend, I'll probably pick it up as well. But this is Hollister Jake Cologne. And this is one. This is this one I will definitely be keeping. And again, is it the reinvention of the wheel here? No. It was either 15 or 17. I, won't say, I can't remember. Either 15 or 17 for a 50 mil, which is not a bad price. And a nice blue bottle. And... When you think blue, if you're like me, you think aquatic or ambroxan or, you know, something like that. But it's not. It's not. What it is, is a fresh. That's nice. Fresh. Easy to wear. Clean. Think Hollister. I mean, when you think Hollister, what comes to your mind? And I'm sure this fragrance will fall right into that. Khaki shorts or some swim trunks um, and a t-shirt. Being out by the ocean, maybe a bonfire by the ocean. Or just a nice day at the beach listening to the seagulls and the sound of the ocean and just... That's what I get with this. I want to say I pick up on just a little bit of melon. Maybe. <sighs> Definitely airy. Yeah, I want to 
say I pick up on just a hint. It's not a strong melon. It's, it, it's, it runs through the bottom. I don't want to say I pick up on just a hint of it, but definitely the type of fragrance that you would wear if you were trying to chill and unwind. You know, um, football season is coming up, so it's one of those days where you've been on the grill, take your shower, you get ready to watch your team play that night or something. Definitely, definitely a fresh out of the shower type of scent that just works. I mean, it just... It just works. Again, is it the reinvention of the wheel? No, it's not. But does it smell good? Yes. And would anybody, any age, be able to wear this fragrance and smell it? I mean, and wear this fragrance and pull it off? Yes. And people smell it on you and it work? Yes. Maybe a little bit Nautica Voyagey. Maybe that's what it's reminded me of, and maybe that's what they were going for. Nautica Voyage is such a, such a successful fragrance. Maybe that's what they were going for. Doesn't quite have the same amount of melon that Nautica Voyage has. Nowhere near that, but that's what it will put you in the in the wheelhouse of. But it is different enough. To purchase it if you were wondering well that's another nautical voyage not not really not per se it does smell similar but it's not quite the same definitely room for both in your collection but that to give you a reference point of, of the wheelhouse that it would put you in all right guys that is it man that's my little hollister haul um again all of these fragrances smell good. This one is moving a little bit now. The Hollister Canyon Escape. I don't know. It's the opening and it's the, the opening that I don't particularly like. The the mid to the dry down, it's it's becoming a little bit creamy. Not so bad. I don't think it's going to be a major performer, but and most fragrances from Hollister aren't, except for the the, the uh, festival vibe and uh, festival nights and things like that. They're really, really good. But I may have to do a week of Hollister fragrances, you know, after this. But um, I may have to give that an official wearing just to see because it's it's becoming a little bit more creamy a little bit different from the rest of the um uh aventus clones a little bit different hmm may have to come back to you on that one but the <laughs> canyon sky is definitely a blue fragrance it's, it's definitely along the lines of uh, invictus and uh, first instinct together but definitely worth the purchase all right, guys. Oh, yeah. Really, really liking that Jake. It is a fresh, clean, just airy, nice scent. I like that a lot. But anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being the best part of this channel and returning to the scene of the crime. I'm going to get off, do some light editing, and get it out to you. Uh, I love you all, man. It's Wednesday. hope you all are having a great week, and let's get over this song. I'm going to get off of here. Thank you for returning to the scene of the crime. Listen, I love you all and may God bless you all. Until next time, guys. Peace.